Hi, I'm Marion Raven, and you're watching Tiscally. Hi, Marion. Welcome to Tiscally Showcase. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. You just told me you've flown in from Amsterdam today. Yeah, it's 6 a.m. Oh, you must be pretty, pretty tired. Uh, I'm starting to feel it now, yeah. <laughs> did you have a good gig over there? I did. It was really nice uh, to be there, and the weather was lovely. It's nice that the spring is coming, and I had a showcase there at the Hard Rock, so. Great. Yeah. Um, how many gigs are you doing here in London? Um, I just had a showcase, actually, okay. uh, a few hours ago, and, and this is actually my first time uh, really performing for the public, so it's exciting. Um, are you, do you enjoy doing quite small, intimate gigs like this? Um, I love both, actually. I just love playing any time I could do it. Uh, you know, if it's for 10 people or uh, 7,000, I don't care. Does it, do both make you nervous or do they actually, feel? Actually, I think it's worse, it's worse playing for 10 people than right. it is for 7,000 for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they're just closer and you can actually see them. They're not just a sea of, of you know, people. Mm. So. You play lots of different instruments. Uh, today, obviously, it's guitar. Um, do you have a favorite one? Um, it's it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I'm very comfortable at the piano because I've been playing it since I was eight, right. and the guitar I just started playing three years ago, so it's it's really new, and I'm still, you know, very picky about my playing. So mm -hmm. I still have a long way to go. And where do you draw your influences from? Uh, it's um, from everywhere. Um, uh, when I was 13, buying Alanis Morissette's album, okay. Fiona Apple. And I also love 60s, 70s music, discovering bands like The Doors and yeah. uh, Fleetwood Mac and Old Aerosmith. And yeah. your, your album's out at the moment? Um, it's coming out uh, actually in May. Okay, and yeah. what's it called? It's called Set Me Free. And why is it called that? Um, it's because I, I feel really free now. Uh, my album is done and it's exactly mm -hmm. how I wanted it to be. And uh, I work with a really great lab uh, indie label and I just feel really free as an artist to do what I want to do. Uh, Which is, is, is very good because a lot of artists probably have trouble doing that, don't they? Yeah, especially. It's, it's really hard in the, you know, in the big business. <laughs> so how did you um, start doing what you do? Is it something that you've obviously grown up doing? Is it something that you've always wanted to do? How did it all come about? Uh, it's kind of, my, my parents told me they, they don't really know where it came from. I just, I was born and I just love music. I've been singing and, you know, I wanted to play piano and um, my dad's a teacher. My mom works at the hospital and they don't really, you know, not very musical right. at all. My bigger brother can't carry a tune, so <laughs> they don't know where it came from. It's just, it was just always me and always what I wanted to do. Mm. Uh, so it's really been what I've been doing since I was like three, starting in choirs and musicals and um, yeah, I've been doing it for a long time actually. Yeah. Um, I've read quite a lot about um, Meatloaf and you, mm -hmm. I hear you're going on tour with him. Yeah. Um, looking forward to that? I am, it's going to be fun. I just finished the Canadian tour uh, okay. with him and it's been up to 8,000 people and I'm sure it's going to be a lot more here in England because he's uh, really big here. Yes, he is. And I get to open up 30 minutes uh, acoustic, so it pretty much be what oh, I'm going to do today. Uh, so it, it's hard, you know, it's a very, it's a huge stage and a huge arena, and I'm just coming out there, you know, r with my guitar. Uh, but it's been going well, so. Yeah. 